for us. I rejoiced in his presence. And I know that you as well. Um, we're all human and we have nothing different. You just have to be led through the Spirit. Forget about everything else. Only enter his presence. And the Lord will give you from his spirit. He will comfort you. He will comfort you. He will give you what you need at that moment. Because he's good. And he deserves all the glory and honor in the worship. We were waiting for those who we invited. But that's the Lord's work. I had the opportunity to share the word with two people. I got their name and their phone number. I invited them. They were, they were able to make it. But we're not going to give up. Now in our prayers, we will ask the Lord to bring them. We did the work. Now the Lord will bring them. We're going to keep inviting them. We have the phone number. And we hope that they come soon. We just, you know, we want them to hear the word of God. That's what keeps us alive. That's the one that maintains us on our feet. Saludos a todos los que pueden estar conectados allá. We um, say a, a hey to those who are connected with us there. May God bless them in a special way. And all of those who weren't able to come um, that are at home. May the Lord touch their minds and help them if they're going through a trial or through sickness. We don't know. But the Lord knows. And we bless them in the Lord's name. I was We have a testimony. I have a testimony, but I want to give it next week because I have. Muchos no lo predican porque tienen miedo que la gente se vaya. 
A lot of people don't preach it because they're scared that their people are going to be confronted. Many times they don't want to confront people. Pero la palabra de, de Dios es confrontante. But God's word, it la, confronts la palabra de Dios a nosotros nos hace, hay, tiene que haber cambio en nuestra vida. There has to be a change in la, our life. La palabra de Dios, yo no soy el mismo que era hace 25, 30 años. I'm not the same person I was 25, 30 years ago. La, la palabra de Dios me, me ha este, confrontado. His word has confronted y, me. Y he tenido que hacer muchos, muchos cambios en mi vida. And I've had to change my life. Y, y, este, y eso es, tiene que ser una prueba. It has to be a trial. Que estamos viviendo lo que dice la palabra. It, this um, proves that we're living what the word says. Nosotros no vamos a, a hablar lo que no hacemos. We're not going to talk about things we don't tenemos do. Tenemos que hablar la palabra y tenemos que respaldarla con testimonio. We have to speak the word and then, um, you know, show it by way of our testimony dice about la, how la, we live it. Dice la palabra que, que eh, por sus frutos los conoceréis. The word says that we will be known by our fruits. O sea, lo que quiere decir es que por, por lo que yo haga, por la manera que yo actúe, what it means is that by, the, by my actions, si, si tú no ves que yo soy una persona que, que soy rebelde, if you see I'm a rebellious una, person, una persona enojada, or a person who's always fácil, angry, who gets una angry que, fast, que no hace lo que está diciendo la palabra, one who doesn't do what the word says, entonces, mis frutos no son buenos. So then my fruits are not good. Dice, dice la palabra que por sus frutos no vas a conocer. That's why the word says you will be known by your fruits. Pero sin mis frutos, but if my fruits dan todo lo contrario, show all contrary to that, I'm a nice person. I'm a person that helps eh, others. Soy una persona que busca la santificación. I'm a person that looks for um, to sanctify myself. Entonces sus frutos van a dar de qué hablar. These fruits will frutos van a dar de qué hablar. These fruits will give people what to talk about. Y sabemos que como son buenos frutos van a hablar bien. And we know that since they're good fruits, they'll talk good about us. Y esta palabra que vamos a hablar. And this word that we're going to speak today. Como le digo, es una palabra que que no se toca mucho. Like I said, it's not it's a word that not it's not preached often. Y que no se toca mucho. Le vamos a poner, le vamos a poner el título de la predica. We're gonna um, title this preaching. El infierno. Vamos a hablar de hoy, vamos a hablar del infierno. Today we're gonna speak of hell. El infierno es un lugar real. Hell is a real place. El infierno es un lugar de tormento. Hell is a place of torment. 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 Hell And the word of God, like the song says, de tal manera nos amó que él no quiere que vayamos a ese lugar. Por eso está escrito la palabra. That's why it's written here in the word. Por eso vamos a hablar de ese tema. That's why we're going to speak of this theme today. Muchas veces nosotros nos enfocamos en lo que no hacemos. Many times we focus on what we don't do. Pero cuando nos enfocamos en lo que hacemos, cuando nos enfocamos en lo que no 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 hacemos, cuando nos en el versículo 42 como que, eh, hasta el 48. Verse 42 through 48. Cuando lo tengan, dicen amén. When you have it, you can say amén. Te oramos, Jesús. Gracias. Que eres bueno. Thank you, Lord, because you are good and your mercy endures forever. ¿Lo tienen? Marcos, capítulo 9. Mark, chapter 9. Verse 42. Antes de leerlo, déjame leerle un, un este, unos sinónimos de lo que es el, la palabra infierno. Um, I'm going to read some synonyms that, um, of what the word hell means. En el, en el Viejo Testamento, In the Old Testament, la palabra, no se, no se usaba la palabra infierno. They wouldn't use that word hell. La palabra que se usaba en aquel lado, en el, en el Viejo Testamento, era Seol y Hades. The word that they used to um, say back then in the Old Testament was Addis and Seol. The Seol and Henna. Henna. Eran eran son tres palabras que se usaban en aquel tiempo. There was three words that were used in that time. Y eran palabras porque el el en la en la la palabra infierno viene del término latino, ¿verdad? Infernos. The um, word hell comes from the Latin word infernos. And the Romans used to use that Latin language back then. Que fue el último imperio, which was the last empire que, 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 que el mundo. that governed the world. 
y, y antes de ellos estaban, estaban los griegos, el Before imperio griego. Antes de, antes de, antes de, que, de, de que naciera el imperio romano, estaba el imperio griego. Before the um, a Roman Empire, it was the Greek Empire. Y ellos le llamaban Hades. And they used to call it Hades. Y en hebreo, los hebreos, los judíos, and the Jews, el pueblo de Dios le llamaban Seón. They used to call it Seón. Pero todos los tres significan lo mismo porque van para el mismo lado. But all three mean the same thing. Pero cada uno tenía su, su diferencia. But each one had their own differences that they had in It's good that you know Pero, venido, venido Jesucristo, But after Jesus, in the New Testament, the word is used, que, um, the word hell is the word that we know now. You've heard the word hell. Hay, hay que se, que se ahí, There's some movies Entonces, that are in the Recopilar, o sea, que podemos eh, familiarizarnos con ellas. So these are some words we can familiarize ourselves okay. with. Entonces, eso es bueno haberlo traído para que ustedes sepan más o menos. Just so you can understand. Y, y dice que Jesús Jesus. habló sobre el infierno. Jesus used to speak about hell. Y si él lo habló, and if he spoke it, es porque es real. Él, él es el, haciendo el creador de todo. It's because it's real. He's being the creator of everything. Él conoce things. estas cosas. He knows these things. Y, y él lo empezó a hablar para que la gente entendiera que ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar ahí? He started to speak right. it so people could know what's going to go Entonces, on. Vamos a leer versículo 42 del capítulo 9. Verse, de 20, verse 42 of chapter 9 of Mark. Dice, cualquiera que haga tropezar a uno de estos pequeñitos que creen en mí, mejor le fuera si se le atase una piedra de, un, de molino en el, al cuello y se le arrojase del mar. Si tu mano te fue de ocasión de caer, córtala. Mejor te es entrar en la vida manco que teniendo dos manos ir a ir al infierno al fuego que no puede ser apagado donde el gusano de ellos no muere y el fuego nunca se apaga y si tu pie te fue de ocasión de caer, córtalo mejor te es entrar a la vida cojo que teniendo dos pies ser echado en el infierno al fuego que no puede ser apagado donde el gusano de ellos no muere y el fuego nunca se apaga y si tu ojo te fue de ocasión de caer, sácalo Mejor te es entrar en el reino de Dios con un ojo que teniendo los dos ojos o ser echado al infierno donde el gusano de ellos no muere y el fuego nunca se apaga. And if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a large milestone tied around his neck. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed them with two hands and go into hell, where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better that you enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Amen. Dios no, Dios no te está diciendo literalmente que si tu mano que es ocasión de caer, o sea, de, 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 cuando dice si es ocasión de caer, es, o sea, si, si tu mano es ocasión de pecar, de, de cometer un pecado, so God is not telling you literally that if your hand is causing you to sin, que te la cortes, to cut it off. Porque lógicamente Dios no te va a mandar que te cortes la mano. Logically, he's not going to tell you to cut it off. Speaking spiritually, so that the people that are listening to him can pay attention. Igualmente el pie. The same way as your foot. Si mi pie en esa ocasión de caer, if my foot makes mejor, me fail, mejor, córtatelo, porque es mejor ir al, al, al reino con un pie que con dos. The word says, you know, to cut it off, it's better to go into into heaven with one foot than going to hell with both. Ojo. Es de igual manera el ojo. The same way with your eyes. Si en esa ocasión de caer, if it makes you fail, se saca del ojo. Take, take your eye out. It's better for you to go to the heaven with one eye than go to hell with one eye. What he's saying is if your feet are going to take you somewhere, where I know that I'm going to be um, you know, able to fall or to um, sin, then I'm not going to go to that place. 
He's saying, don't go. Because you're in danger of, in danger of falling. Y, y puede ser en And it can be many places. Si, si, un ejemplo, si yo soy una persona, Example, if I'm a person que, que en mi, en mi vida hay lujuria, lujuria, In my life, um, there's de oh. like sexual sexual desires. And I go to the beach. Que, que What do you think is going to happen? Va a a, a, a caer it's going to fall and it's going to tempt me to sin. Because I want to go to the beach. Because I'm going to find at the beach, for example. And their babies. So why would I go to this place if I have this problem that's going to make me fall? Si, si me están you understand? No estoy que la playa es mala. I'm not saying the beach is a bad Jesus place. La no. la playa Jesus used to go to the beach. No beach. La the bad is, you know, the people. Hay, hay gente que, 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 que es mejor que no vaya a la playa. There's people that is just that they Porque don't go caer. because they may fail. O, o, o puedes ir a un lugar donde, donde no puedes estar porque te vas, vas a caer también. Or like if you go somewhere that you know you're going to be tempted to sin, then don't go there. Tú sabrás qué lugar es. You should know what place that is. El Espíritu Santo te va a dar. The Holy Spirit, Spirit will qué, put qué lugar es que no puedes caer. What places you should avoid? Mejor evitar esos lugares. It's best to um, avoid these places. Sí, The same way if my eye makes me fail. Like people who watch pornography. Every time they watch TV, they see a woman. ¿Qué va a pasar? What's going to happen? Va, va, va They're going to fall Pero into y, sin. Y es lo que está diciendo, hey, mejor And what Jesus is saying, it's best for you just to take it. Tu boca, no, no, no mires. Don't see these no, things. No cosas que no te Don't see things that vas, are not good for you. Vas a, vas a estar expuesto And then you're going to be exposing yourself to go to hell where God doesn't want you to go. He doesn't want me to go. He doesn't want you to go. It's a place we have to avoid at all costs. So the Lord is, is more clear here what he's asking. This is something that can lead you to hell. Donde dice la palabra, where the word says que su fuego no puede ser apagado. the fire cannot be y el gusano de ellos no muere, y el fuego nunca se apaga. the fire is never um, quenched and the worm does not die y vamos a ver, más, más adelantito vamos a ver este, un, lo más cerquita que hay en la palabra que es el infierno What's the closest porque thing mucha, gente, mucha gente te puede decir no yo he oído muchos testimonios de gente que dicen que Jesús los llevó al infierno. Yo, en particular, Me particularly, no creo. I don't porque es un lugar que Jesús no quiere que vayas. ¿A qué te va a llevar allá? ¿A qué te va a enseñar allá? Y mucha gente dice, no, sí, yo he ido al infierno. Y vi a tal persona, tal persona allá. Y, y el Señor me mostró eso para decirte ¿verdad? qué es lo que hay allá. Mientras no esté en la Biblia, eso solamente puede ser una especulación. Puede ser un sueño que haya tenido. Que no necesariamente haya sido Dios que se lo haya mostrado. Pero yo no veo la palabra. Ningún apóstol, ningún hombre de Dios que haya ido al infierno y que haya regresado del infierno. No hay nadie, o sea, no con eso te puedo decir casi todo. No, eso no, no, no tiene ni sentido del común. Amén. ¿Cuántos dicen amén? Ok. Bueno, eso es, es un versículo, un. un Capítulo 9 que acabamos de leer para entender que sí existe el infierno. So here in chapter 9, es un lugar we see that de tormenta, es un lugar de fuego que no puede ser apagado. Here in chapter 9, we see that hell is a real place and that it's a place where the fire is not quenched. Ok, ahora vamos a, a, a leer en, Ma, en Mateo 10, 20, 10, 28. Vamos a estar este, eh, eh, navegando por la, por la Biblia. So we're going to be navigating through the Bible. Si usted tiene, eh, apunt, apuntar, apunte. If you have something to para write, que no se pueda leer, usted lo puede leer en su casa. So what you can't read today, so what we don't read today, you know, you can read Vamos a leer Mateo capítulo 10. Matthew chapter 10. Versículo 28. Verse 28. ¿Lo tiene? Dice, 
dice, y no temáis a los que matan el cuerpo, mas el alma no puede matar. Temed más bien aquel que puede destruir el alma y el cuerpo en el infierno. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. We shouldn't be um, scared of who can kill our body. We shouldn't be afraid if someone can kill our body. Because they can only kill the body and up to there. Pero el Señor, but the Lord más bien nos dice, hey, mejor temer aquel que tiene el poder para says, matar el cuerpo y el alma y ponerlos en el infierno. He says, rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both the soul and the body in hell. ¿Y quién es el único que puede hacer eso? Who's the only one that can do this? Dios. God. Porque somos, él es, somos creación de Dios. We're his creation. Él nos hizo el cuerpo. He created our bodies. Nos dio alma. Our soul and our spirit. Entonces, ¿quién es el poder? So he has the power to do so. And there's lots of times when people don't understand. People think that God is bad. That they say, you know, how can he um, let us go to hell? When he created man, he told them very clear. You can eat. You can't eat from these fruits, but any other fruit you can eat. It was the, life, the tree of life. And the one of knowledge of right, good and bad. And he told them the day that you eat this fruit, you will die. So when man um, sinned and ate from that fruit, now he was given the um, knowledge of right and wrong. And if you know, or maybe you don't know, the, the Lord who knows all things, Puso una espada que se revolvía alrededor del árbol de la vida. He put um, a sword that was going around the tree of life. Y, y dos querubines. And two angels. Para cuidar de ese árbol. To take care of that tree. Para que, para que el hombre no alargue su mano, coma de ese árbol y viva para siempre. So that that man would not eat from that tree and then live forever. Imagínese usted, imagínese usted ya después de que, de, ya después de que comió del árbol de la ciencia del bien y el conocimiento del bien y el mal. Imagine after eating the fruit from the tree of life. What would have happened if he would have eaten fruit from the from the tree of life? We would have lived forever, but because of God knows all things. He put that sword and those angels there to guard it. He took that sword and those angels there to guard it. So he says he took them out of the garden of Eden. The plan that he had for men was so that we could live forever. Without knowing good and evil. But after we knew evil, now we know what happened. So God has given us a choice. Free will. You've noticed that he, us as humans, we always tend to do more the evil than good. Because once eating from that tree, they ate from the tree of knowledge of good and bad. Siempre su tendencia es a seguir el mal. But the tendency, our tendency is always to do the evil. Why don't they do the good? Because they have the same knowledge. But we have the enemy of our hearts. And he's saying, "Oh, you know, 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 you So I bring this so you can Dios, understand bueno. that God is good. And that he loved us so que that he gave his only son to be able to rescue us no so that we don't go to that tormented place. Esto, Because when all of this is gone, Dios, when all the word um, comes to pass, dice la palabra que los justos, los buenos, it says the just, we will be with him forever. Y los que no se su en el libro de la vida, and those whose names were not in the book of life, son palabras fuertes. 
their strong All of those will be thrown into the lake of fire. And they will be tormented day and night. We're preaching this to you. And God has preached it to us. Because he doesn't want us to go there. He doesn't want us to go there. Remember, we're in this life. We may live 70, 80 years. If you take good care of yourself, maybe you, you may be able to live 90. But the word says that our life is like the clouds that just pass. Like the flowers that grow. And then when the heat of the sun, They die that same way. That's the men's life. But imagine living in eternity in torment. I don't want to go there. I hope that you don't want to go there. So let's understand that God is good. He's the only one that has the power para, para poner el alma y el cuerpo en el infierno. To put the, uh, the, our bodies and our soul in hell. Vamos a, vamos a ahora a otro punto. Vamos a, la, a leer Mateo 23, 33. Matthew 23, 33. Bueno, vamos a leer el 15 primero. Mateo 23. Matthew 23, verse 15. Vamos a leer el, el versículo 15 primero y luego el 33. First we're going to read verse 15 and the palabra, 33. Dice, a, aquí está Jesús, igualmente con el Jesús. Que está, casi casi todas las personas que hablaban en la palabra de Dios sobre el infierno fue el mismo Jesús. So the ones who usually spoke y of hell yo, yo in the word was Jesus. Que Dios lo sabe, que Dios lo sabe, que Dios lo sabe, que Dios lo sabe. And I think that with him having that wisdom that he has, he did it. Para que la gente entendiera que, que si él lo está diciendo, so people could understand that if he's saying it, it's because it's true. Okay. Entonces dice el versículo 15, dice, hay de vosotros escribas y fariseos, hipócritas, dice, porque recorréis el mar y la tierra para hacer un prosélito, y una vez hecho, le hacéis dos veces más hijo del infierno que vosotros. So it says, woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You travel over land and sea to win a single con convert, And when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as you are. Aquí estamos viendo a Jesús confrontando a los religiosos de ese tiempo. So Jesus here was confronting the religious people from Entonces, that time. Estos escribas y fariseos. These Pharisees and scribes. Gente que conocía el, el viejo testamento, la, la Torá. They were people who knew the Old Testament. Uh -huh. esta, esta gente estaba, hacía, decía, recorrían tierra y cielo. It says they used to um, walk all the land para hacer un proselito. to win a single convert. Okay. ¿Sabe qué es proselito? You know what that is? Proselito es una persona It's a person que, un ejemplo, yo quiero eh, que Irma se haga ella judía. For example, I, like me saying I want Irma to become a Jew. De acuerdo a mi doctrina. According to my doctrine. That's what these Jews used to do. Y eso es lo que hacían eran, a, 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 a costa de, de, de cualquier cosa. At all costs. Ellos querían hacer, este, digamos así, discípulos judíos. They wanted to make, let's o sea, say, que, like disciples. Porque acuérdense que la gente, Jewish, la, la gente contaba la diferencia de los, de los, de, de los judíos y los gentiles. So back then it would be a difference between the Jews and the Gentiles. The Gentiles was everyone who was not a Jew. So you understand. It's like if I go to a um, Jehovah Witness and I want to convert him to my religion. So you can understand what they do. Por convertir a alguien al judaísmo. So that's what they used to do. They used to do what they could to try to convert yeah, one yeah. Of, someone to their Jewish custom. Y uno de los problemas más graves del judaísmo. And one of the biggest problems of the Jewish. Esta gente religiosa. Is that these religious people. Eh, eh, querían que, los, que solamente tú podrías salvarte si te, si te circuncidabas. 
They thought that the only way you could be saved is if you were circumcised yourself. That's what they used to do when the kids were saved. They believed that that's the only way they could become Jews and be saved. So there are chapter 23, but verse 33, we're going to read verse 33. Sí, 32, bueno, vamos a 33, dice así dice, serpientes generación de víboras ¿cómo escaparéis de la condenación del infierno? it says, you snakes you brought of vipers how will you escape being condemned to hell? Está duro, ¿eh? These are hard words, harsh words. But Jesus is speaking to them. And Jesus was speaking to those religious people. He called them snake. Brought of vipers. How will you escape being condemned in hell? These were things that could lead you to hell. Like Irma said when she opened. What comes out of our mouth. If what comes out of our mouth. It's things that um, have to do with, you know, things that don't edify. Bad words. Cursing. If um, you know bitter things come out of our mouth, these are things that can lead us to hell, and me too. So we should part from all these things. Uh, as our walk with Christ, we need to know these things. What God expects from us. We have to have a change in our lives. Hacerlo para, para la gloria de la Señor. Y para evitar ese lugar. And to um, avoid going to the place. Cuentas, Because after everything said and done, uno van a ir para allá, some will go there, a la izquierda, to the left, que es, que es el izquierda, which is hell, y a la derecha, que es la vida eterna. And to right, and the right which is heaven. Por eso la palabra de Dios dice, so that's why the word says, dice que toda rodilla se tiene que doblar, all knee will bow, toda lengua tiene que confesar, all tongue will confess, es that Jesus is Lord. Muchos, muchos lo van a hacer, a lot of people will do it because they've already recognized Jesus as their Savior. But for some, it will be too late. But they will still have to bend their knees. They will still have to bow their knees and they will still have to confess that He's Jesus. But it will be too late for them because they do not follow what Christ has called us to do. Like I said, these are some harsh words. It sounds harsh. Eh, cuando una persona es mala, cuando una persona es este, eh, es esa la palabra chismosa, chismoso. Now, you know, we use the word um, gossiper. Digamos, en el lenguaje puertorriqueño, mochinchera, mochinchera. En Puerto Rico, where you know, you, you say mochinchera. Imagínense. Imagine. O sea que, que nosotros tenemos que, que entender que... We have to understand that when the Lord will call them snakes, what comes out of the snake's mouth? Um, venom. So God doesn't want us to be this way. But the consequences is not for us to go to hell. There's many more things. Amen. Bueno, vamos a ver otro punto. We're going to see another point here. Gracias. Vamos a ver el número punto. Este está tremendo. Vamos a ver por qué. ¿Qué es lo que nos muestra la Biblia? Si podemos describir qué es el infierno. We're going to see what the Bible describes as what there is. ¿Qué hay en el infierno? What there is there in hell. ¿Qué es lo que es la única? Capítulo en la palabra en el libro de Lucas que te enseña sobre el infierno. That shows you about hell. Nosotros ya hemos hablado que es un lugar de tormento. That is a place of torment. Es un lugar 
de fuego it's que se separa that doesn't quench. y dice que si no se apaga entonces porque es eterno And if it doesn't quench, it's because it's eternal. pero en, en la Biblia en el Nuevo Testamento But in the New Testament, yo la hemos leído la Biblia we read the Bible. no hay otro lugar donde podamos encontrar que lo que nos podamos acercar que es el infierno And we don't find where the Lucas, capítulo 16 so we're going to go to Luke chapter 16 capítulo 16 verse 1 Luke chapter 16 
Remember that in your lifetime you received good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let, them, let him warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said. But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone raises from the dead. This is what it speaks of him. We see this um, rich man. He lived in luxury every day. He was a rich man. Lazarus was a beggar. He was a beggar. A homeless. Uh -huh. And he was covered in sores. The dogs would come and lick his sores. So Jesus says, the beggar died. And it says that the angels carried him to Abraham's side. Abraham's side, let's say, is like a place where they go, a, a place where they wait. Where it says that he was confront, um, comforted because of all the bad things he had went through in his life. It says he used to eat um, from, he used to eat um, anything that fell from the rich man's table. And the rich person never had mercy on him or gave him anything to eat. So Lazarus, he went through, he, he had many bad things happen to but when he died, he was taken to Abraham's side so he could be comforted. And then it says that the rich man also died. And the first thing that happened to him when he opened his eyes, he was in a place of torment. And he called, looked up and saw Abraham calling on him. And he said, Father Abraham, have pity on me. But when he was alive, he never had mercy on the poor. So Abraham tells him, so he says, you know, Lazarus is being comforted here and while you're in agony because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. So the rich guy says, let Lazarus, you know, Touch his finger in water and then come to um, touch the top of my tongue because I'm being tormented. That's where you can see that the hell is a place of torment. Fire that does not extinguish. And if you're close to fire or you are in the fire, what does that give you? You're going to be thirsty. But that fire cannot be quenched. There was no one to calm his thirst. He had no opportunity. That's why he had to be in that place. So Father Abraham said, no, I can't send him. Because the place where we are, we can't go from here to there. And you guys who are there can't come over here. You can't leave that place. Remember what I said just a little bit ago? 
that many people say, oh, I went to hell, but I, but then I came back and came back to see that the ones who were here at Abraham's side could not go that way. And the ones who were in torment could not come over here. It says there's something that separates us. And this word means S of salt. It's um and there's something great that a big pit that separates us you can't come here we can't go there the word cima when the city of the house it means it's a high mountain pero una cima con ese de sal es algo profundo so, so the S with like salt is the one that's a pit. So if you see it and you read it here, it has the S like saying if you look for it in the dictionary, you will find the definition. If it has a C like in the casa, then it's a different meaning. So the rich man says, so the rich man tells him, well, send someone. I have five brothers. He says, send someone to warn them so they don't also come to this place of torment. Father Abraham said, no, they have Moses and they have the prophets. Have them hear them. And he said, no, if you send someone who's dead, then they'll be convinced. And he said, if they don't listen to Moses and the prophets, even if I send them a dead person, they won't believe. So we see that the, um, hell is a place of torment. No one can say that it's full of scorpions or snakes. People say that you know the demons are beating. The Bible doesn't show this. It just says it's a torment place where you will be thirsty. The fire will not be quenched. And I bring something, you know, to add to it. What um, worse thing can happen to a human than to be separated from the presence of God? That's going to be the worst thing. There will be no other opportunity. You cannot be in his joy or see him the way he is. All the things that he has reserved for us. But he has everything else. The suffering and the torment that they will have, that will be a part. This place was prepared for the devil and his demons. It wasn't prepared for humans. But the enemy has taken care of taking all those who he can, all those who let him take them there and fall into that life. That's what he's doing. Because he knows where he's going. He has no way out. That's why he wants to take all those he can with him. We're going to see in the word. It says that the false prophet, the antichrist, and the devil, they were um, thrown into the lake of fire. They were thrown into the lake of fire. And all of those whose name was not in the book of life, they were also thrown in there. So imagine those people are going to be with the devil and with their demons. And all the people who have done that. And all the people who didn't repent of their sins. And who knows who else will be. 
Entonces, That's podemos, what the word says. Que el es un lugar de so we see that hell is a place of torment que a that we have to avoid at all costs. Dios no que ni tú, ni, ni yo a that God doesn't want you or I to go Pero, there. La única es del Señor. And the only way is for we can follow hasta, God's hasta way, que, will. Hasta que muramos, hasta que venga por until we die or until Porque he takes no, us with him. Lo que nos es eso. Because if not, what's going to wait for us is that. Lots of people are there. And out of all those people there, Una not one ha podido regresar was para, able to come back to tell you what's in that place. A lot of people say, oh, when you die, that's it for you. Who's come back from hell that is alive and they didn't tell you? The one who goes there cannot come out. If God doesn't want you to go there, why would he take someone there to show them what? I'm reading it to you with a word. What is hell? What, what is this at all? Like They've called it a different name. But we know it as hell. We have to understand this. And it's a real place. When this person was he wanted them to warn his friends. So they wouldn't go the same path he went. Abraham said, he had, they, have, they have who can preach them, who will show them. If they don't listen to them, they won't hear anyone else. So he worried about them. Since he knew they, they couldn't do anything for him, he didn't want his brothers or his family to go there. He was, still in his, he was still in his senses. He was suffering. He was in torment. He was thirsty. He said, even if they give me a little bit of water in my tongue. And not even that he could get. So this exists. So we're going to read Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Verse 42. 13, verse 42. Okay, dice, dice, o puede leer del 41, dice, enviará el Hijo del Hombre, aquí está hablando, de, cuando dice, cuando enviará el Hijo del Hombre, está hablando de Jesús. Dice, enviará el Hijo del Hombre a sus ángeles y recogerán de su reino a todos los que sirven del tropiezo y a los que hacen iniquidad. Y los echarán en el horno de fuego, allí será el lloro y el crujir de dientes. Otra, otra cosa que podemos anotar ahí, ¿qué es, el, qué es lo que hay en el, en el, en el infierno? Es un lloro y es un crujir de dientes. Here's another thing that it shows us what is in hell. So verse 41 says, The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will be they will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. We can see that he clearly says he will send his angels so they will take those who did. And the ones who did wrong, they will be they will be thrown into a fiery Verse 43 says, Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let them hear. Matthew 
Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Here in my Bible, it says it differently. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Dice Another verse Exists. It shows that some will be um, go away to eternal punishment and the other one to eternal life. God doesn't want us to go there. Pero, dice lo que nos dice el Señor a nosotros para que, para que nosotros nos agarremos de estas promesas. ¿Qué dice Filipenses capítulo 3? Philippians, Filipenses capítulo 3. Chapter 3. Apúntelo también para que se cuando quiera leer en su casa lo puede leer. Capítulo 3, versículo de 18 a 20. Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 through 20. Okay. You can write it down so you can read it at home if you like. Dice, dice, porque ahí andan muchos de los cuales dije muchas veces, y aún ahora los digo llorando, que son enemigos de la cruz de Cristo. El fin de los cuales será perdición, cuyo Dios es el vientre y cuya gloria es su vergüenza, que solo piensan en lo terrenal. Mas nuestra ciudadanía está en los cielos, de donde también esperamos al Salvador, al Señor Jesús. De number 18 says, For as I have often told you before, and now say again, even with tears, many like Many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach and their glory is their shame. Their mind is on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a savior from there. The Lord Jesus Christ. So we see that there's a lot of people who don't want to know anything about Christ. They're enemies of the cross. They don't want to obey Christ. They think this is just a story. They think we're just wasting time. Unfortunately, when all of this comes to pass, it's going to be too late for them. That's why he said, these people are just people who satisfy their stomach. They only think of eternal things. But um, verse 20 says that our citizenship is in heaven. We've commented this before. We have to understand that the world is not our friend. We live in the world. But what we should do is what the Lord has called us to do. Preach the word. Live a holy life. Sanctify yourself. Pray. Ayuna. On fast, do good. Do the best you can with your families, with your friends. Doing all these things will be good. But if we only think in early things, and we still want to be friends with the world, a good place is not awaiting us. We have to focus on what He has prepared for us. We've preached of forgiveness. We've preached of the Holy Spirit. We've preached very many good um, things. God's word. But today the, the Lord um, you know, wanted us to speak of hell. I tell you. 
I can tell you myself that I never heard a preaching where I was of help. I'm not judging, but I never heard this. Very few people preach this because they're scared that their people will be scared. But we have to preach the truth. The word is here. It's not a myth. We have to preach the truth the way it is without adding and without without adding or without taking away. We're going to read um, Second Thessalonians Second Thessalonians Uh, no, 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 cuando se manifieste el Señor Jesús desde el cielo con los ángeles de su poder en llama de fuego para dar retribución a los que no conocieron a Dios ni obedecen al Evangelio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, los cuales sufrirán pena de eterna perdición, excluidos de la presencia del Señor y de la gloria de su poder. Cuando venga en aquel día para ser glorificado en sus santos y ser admirado en todos los que creyeron, por cuanto nuestro testimonio ha sido creído entre vosotros. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven into blazing fire with his powerful angels. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out of the presence of the Lord and from the majesty of his power. On the day he comes to be glorified in his holy in his holy people and to be marveled at among all those who have believed. This includes you, because you believed our testimony to you. The word says he's a just God. He will give us all according to our acts. He's the only just God. He won't give you anything you don't deserve. He'll give you what you and I deserve. Like it says here, those who trouble those who trouble you those will be troubled and us who are troubled get, he will give us relief where was Lazarus? in a place where he was getting relief he was being comforted he was being comforted dice lo que dice cuando se manifieste el Señor Jesús desde el cielo con los ángeles de su poder en llama de fuego para dar ¿verdad? para darle lo que se merece a los que no conocieron a Dios porque no quisieron y que no obedecieron el evangelio del Señor Jesucristo los cuales van a sufrir, a sufrir pena de eterna perdición excluidos de la presencia de Dios He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus they will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out of the Lord's presence. That's why there's a verse in the Bible that says horrible is it is to fall in the hands of the Lord living God. When we started, who's the one that has the power to put body and soul in heaven? Only God. He's the one who made us. I remember the word. Maybe it was prophet Isaiah. He speaks of the Jeremiah. Will the pot that the um, master 
clay master. Clay master, clay. yeah, that the clay master made. Will the pot tell the clay master, why did you make me this way? Can we tell God, Lord, why did you make me this way? He's our creator. He created us. We all have the same opportunity. It's just who accepts him and who rejects him. Vamos a ver hasta ahora, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué dice, qué dice Hebreos 10? Hebreos 10. Hebreos 10. Hebreos 10. Verse 31 through 37. Dice, a la memoria los días pasados, en los cuales después de haber sido iluminados, sostuviste gran combate de padecimientos. Por una parte, ¿sí me dice bien? Por una parte, ciertamente con vituperios y tribulaciones, fuiste hecho ese espectáculo, y por otra llegaste a ser compañeros de los que estaban en una situación semejante, porque de los presos también os compadeciste, y el despojo de vuestras bienes sufriste con gozo, sabiendo que tenías, tenéis en vosotros una mejor y perdurable herencia en los cielos. No perdáis pues vuestra confianza que tiene grande galardón, porque os es necesaria la paciencia para que habiendo hecho la voluntad de Dios, obtengáis la promesa porque aún un poquito y el que ha de venir vendrá y no tardará it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God remember those earlier days after you had received the light when you stood your ground in the great contest in the face of suffering sometimes you were publicly exposed to insult and, perse and persecution at other times, you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You sympathized with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. Do not throw away your confidence. It is richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in very, for just a very little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. Y dice más el 38, dice más el justo, por la fe vivirá, y si retrocediere, no agradará mi alma. Pero nosotros no somos de los que retroceden para perdición, sino de los que tienen fe para preservación del alma. But my righteous one will live by faith, and he and if he shrinks back, I will not be pleased with him. But we are not of those who shrink back. We are destroyed. But of those who believe and are saved. Así que le digo, hermano, hermano, so I, I encourage you, no sister. Eso, hay, Let hay, us not shrink back. Digamos así, es un dicho que está diciendo. Eh, es un dicho que dicen, eh, para atrás, para volver para atrás, ni para coger impulso. Some people say, you know, I won't even go back to... No, no podemos... We can't we, uh, go back. We're not of those who shrink back. Because if we go back, we're going to perish. We have to keep going forward. Judas 1.13 Jude 1.13 
que comiendo impúdicamente con vosotros se apacientan a sí mismos. Nubes sin agua, llevadas de acá para allá por los vientos, árboles o coñales sin fruto, dos veces muertos y desvalidados, fieras ondas del mar que espumean su propia vergüenza, estrellas errantes para las cuales están reservadas eternamente la oscuridad de las tinieblas. These men are blemishes at your love feast, eating with you without the slight crown. Shepherds who feed only themselves. They are clouds without rain, blown along with the wind, autumn trees without fruit and uprooted twice dead. They are wild waves of the sea, foaming up their shame, wandering stars from whom blackest darkest has been reserved forever. So we see that in hell there's also darkness. We see that there's crying. The gnashing of teeth. I said, there's thirst. I, I, there's torment. And darkness. And darkness. And darkness. And darkness. And darkness. See, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone and to convict all the ungodly. So I'm going to read quickly. Revelation 16.20 Y la bestia fue apresada y con ella el falso profeta que había hecho delante de ella las señales con las cuales había engañado a los que recibieron la marca de la bestia y habían adorado su imagen. Estos dos fueron lanzados vivos dentro de un lago de fuego que arde con azufre. Every island fled away and, and the mountains could not be found. From the sky huge hailstones of about a hundred pounds each fell upon the men and they cursed on an account of the plague of hail because the plague was so terrible. Y el, y mismo, capítulo 20, versículo 10, dice, 20, y el diablo que los engañaba fue lanzado en el agua de fuego y azufre, donde estaban la bestia y el falso profeta, y serán atormentados día y noche por los siglos de los siglos. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Y en, uh, en el capítulo 21 de Apocalipsis, versículo 8, dice, pero los cobardes, los incrédulos, a los que no creyeron, los abominables y los homicidas, los fornicarios, hechiceros, los idólatras, y todos los mentirosos tendrán su parte en el lago que arde con fuego y azufre, que es la muerte segunda. Uh, Revelation 21, 8 says, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur for this is the second death y en el capítulo 22 15 dice, mas los perros estarán fuera, y los hechiceros los fornicarios, los homicidas los idólatras, y todo aquel que ama y hace mentira Revelation 22 15 says, outside are the dogs those who practice magic arts sexually immoral, the Murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Y en el 20, 15, dice, y el que no se halló inscrito en el libro de la vida fue lanzado a la muerte. If um, 2015 says, if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Tenía un montón de escribir, pero. I have rolled down a lot, but you know, God is good. What he wants us is for us to be conscious. For us to understand that there's a place that is real. That is being separated from the presence of God forever. This should be a motive for you and I to keep working for Christ. Because God doesn't want anyone to go there. But everyone will choose their own path. If we, if we um, sustain, we will be comforted. We'll be taken to a place of comfort. 
tranquilos we'll be still donde vamos a siempre con el Señor where we will always be with the Lord por los hijos de los hijos forever and ever ¿Qué tiene preparado? what he has prepared la palabra tiene unos, unos cuantas cosas que nos enseña the Bible has some things that teaches us what's up there pero ¿Qué mejor va a ser cuando estemos allá y no todo el mundo vea? But it will be best when we get there ourselves and we Para see siempre. it. Forever. Y, y, y al lado contrario. And all contrary to that. Ya vimos lo que hablamos al mundo. We see what we o sea, learned about. Hay dos, dos, dos caminos. There's only two ways. El, el, la vida eterna. Eternal life. O la vida eterna. Or eternal condemnation. That's why he, the Lord said. Puertas. There's two doors. La ancha the wide one and the narrow one the wide door takes you to um, get lost a lot, a lot of people go down that door because that door has everything that the flesh desires everything that the flesh desires dancing um, the atmosphere we know what's out there. But the narrow road, that's the one that leads you to eternal life. And very few go through that door. I say, me particularly, in the end, this day will come. Where do we want to be? I don't want to go through that um, wide door. I don't want to be separated from the presence of God. I want to be where He is. And the only way will be working for Him and doing what He's called us to do. That's it. It's simple. But we have to go through that process. So the only thing I can ask you, or what I can recommend you, is that we don't go back. Let's keep going forward. God is coming soon. It hurts me that my children are not here. When I, I say, when I say, you know, we have to speak strongly with them, it needs to be clear. They're, they're going along with the world, even though they're not doing bad things. They're going through the desires of the flesh. And I don't want them to be lost. But it's their decision. I would love to have them here. But all we can do is pray. Keep asking the Lord to touch their hearts. That they can understand that the Lord is waiting on them. That he loves them. And that everything else passes. So in your prayers, pray for them as well. That the Lord gives them the opportunity. I know that he will rise up. But like we've said it plenty of times, the one who's with us is way more powerful than the one that's in the world. We should just never fail. We're dismayed, but keep praying. You also have family. You also have children. Children, um, ne um, sisters and grandchildren. I know you don't want them to go there either. And the best thing we can do is just speak to them. Encourage them. We can't force them. Because God is a gentleman, he doesn't force anyone. But we need to speak to them. Because at the end, that's what there is. There's nothing else. We don't want to go there. We want to be with the Lord forever. The same way we want you guys to be with him. But we have to pray once for you and keep going forward. Let's keep preaching to those out there. Keep praying for these people. The guy that I met, I saved his number. He's from um, Guatemala. He's a young man. And there's another one who's an older man. 
So the Lord will touch them and they, they can accompany us. The same if you invite someone that's paid for them. That the Lord will touch their hearts. All we can do is to share and then pray so that that seed will grow. You see that it's true. To come to church, a lot of people don't want to, but invite them to a party. And they're there. There in my house where I live, there's a Mexican. He's from uh, Mexico, from Angola. So outside of his house, he makes parties. Just seen how many people were there yesterday. It was cool. There were. The car is all down the block. And I thought if everyone was like this to come to church, for them, it's for their own good because God's not going to take anything from them. He offers them eternal life, but they don't want it. Like we've seen it in the Word. All we can do is just pray for them. And lots of prayer for people. So the Lord will touch them. And before they come, people will be saved. Because that day that He comes, those who are lost, that's where the gnashing of teeth and the weeping will be. It'll be too late. When they see that the Lord has took all those who believed in him. That's all we have for today. We hope that this word of the Lord has been sown into your heart just as the ones that are here. If you don't see us, you know, um, God bless you. We say hi to everyone. And those of you who are learning and listening, speak to your children. This is for everyone. Poor and rich. Rich with lots of money or poor. The same pit is waiting. There's no difference between rich and poor. They're all going to the same place. The important thing is where we're going to spend eternity. We love you in Jesus' name. God bless. We're blessed. We're going to say a prayer. We, we went over a little. <laughs> but we're working overtime. God will bless us. It's just a little bit. So we're going to pray to be dismissed. Thank you for coming. The Lord will see what preaching we got. But the good thing is we're preaching what's in the world. And we have to speak of everything. It doesn't matter if it's about hell. We shouldn't be scared. If you're with the Lord, we're going to eternal life. It's just so we can be conscious.